Since it began flying to India less than five years ago, Kuwaiti low-cost carrier Jazeera Airways has rapidly expanded its footprint in India, serving eight cities. In an interview with India Outbound, Romana Parvi, Regional Manager South Asia of Jazeera Airways, says there is a need to revise the number of flights allowed under bilateral agreement between India and Kuwait in view of growing traffic. Jazeera Airways, like all other airlines, so pandemic, we were not immune to pandemic, right? So we did face the ill effects of pandemic, but uh, I'm happy to say that very early, in fact, in 2021 itself, we turned around. The second half of 2021, we turned around and we made profits. So we wiped out the entire losses of 2021 pandemic year in 2021. In 2022 also, um, hopefully the results will come out very soon, but we have definitely made profits. We have done very well for ourselves and hopefully this should continue in the years to come. End of 2018, we already had five destinations. In the pandemic in 2021, last quarter, we started flying from Chennai. And uh, in 2022 winter, this year, we last year, we started uh, with Bangalore and uh, Trivandrum. So from five in 2018, currently we are at eight cities. We serve eight cities into India and uh, we yeah, we have about 30 weekly flights on the route, India Kuwait India route. We've been very, very uh, fortunate to see some very healthy load factors right from the day we've started. However, um, with the efforts of the sale team and us opening more and more destinations on our network, we are seeing a steady growth of the seed factor. Okay, so, you know, we've closed this last year, 2022, uh, I'm talking about India from all the stations, uh, about 92% seed factor. And, uh, you know, as and when we grow our destinations, as the airline grows, you know, and uh, we grow more into India and open more destinations, I'm sure this would go up even further. Yeah, so um, currently we are limited by the bilateral arrangements between the government of Kuwait and India. And so we are now utilizing all the seats under the bilateral arrangements. Now, until such time where the bilateral arrangements are reviewed and the entitlements are not increased, until such time we cannot deploy anymore. We're hoping uh, that the government of Kuwait and the government of India you know, meet very shortly and discuss the need and, you know, impress upon the need to have this entitlements ex uh, increased because we are one of the uh, only carriers perhaps in the Middle East that have not seen this kind of an increase in the capacity or in the bilateral since 2007. Okay, whereas, and, and, and the need to do this is even more now because the population of the expat community, Indians being the largest, Kuwait, you know, they make up like almost 25% of the total population of Kuwait. And at that time when we had the bilaterals, it was just about three or four, uh, you know, three or four hundred thousand. Now we are well over a million. So Indians are the largest in Kuwait. So therefore there is an increased need to, you know, relook at the entitlements between the two countries. What do we compete on? Fares, right? We're very, very mindful to make sure that we are in line with competition. Yes, there may be times where, you know, we may be slightly higher or slightly lower than competition, but that is because of dynamic pricing, all right? Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, you know, we look at value. What, what is the added value that we give our customers? Uh, the comfort that we give our customers that uh, travel on our Jazeera aircraft, for example, you know, the seat pitch that we offer. We have, a, as compared to others, we operate a fleet of Airbus uh, 320. So our seat pitch is, you know, definitely wider than our competition. 
so that's more comfortable leg room you know you don't need to necessarily buy and go into the first row or those extra leg rooms so uh, we we have that extra seat pitch uh, at kuwait uh, we own and operate our own terminal t5 okay whereby we have a greater um, let's say control over passenger experience Predominantly, we have uh, a mix of, uh, you know, the VFR, okay, the expat, large in expat Indian community that live and work in Kuwait. Uh, besides that, we also carry a lot of leisure passengers that travel to our onward destinations. So, for example, uh, we fly into Turkey and not only to Istanbul, but we fly to Istanbul, we fly to Sabiha. In summer, we fly to Antalya, we fly to Bodrum. Traps on, and we see a lot of passengers, a lot of Indians that uh, travel with us uh, to these leisure destinations. Besides Turkey, we go to Egypt and we go to Cairo and other five cities in Egypt. We also go to Baku, which is a great mice destination in Azerbaijan. We fly to Tbilisi uh, yesterday. In fact, today, this morning, we launched to Moscow. So that is uh, another destination. So we almost like 58 destinations on Jazeera network. So, and we, we have plans to launch more European destinations.